I better kill Micah this this playthrough. <laughs> Micah doesn't die this playthrough. I'm quitting this game. That's all there is to it. So, <sighs> what? Oh, I was aware of that. Thank you. Is there anything else you wanted to abruptly tell me before I continue on with this? Thank you. Ah, there you are. Along with the main story missions, I've explored everywhere I need to explore. East Blackwater. I'm confident that this game is going to start off. That is going to end with this, with John Marston starting his journey from Red Dead Redemption. Confident. Hey there. I don't know how I ended up with only 314 bucks. But, I want to ask those questions. He's up there, isn't he? Integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have mm. energy for Frank? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Oh, I'll pick this. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us. I think we're gone. Uh, Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to. Oh, you're such a scumbag now. Pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But, 
It is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. This we don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. Some of that dynamite, you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. got to see Colm hang. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure... I don't think Colm's dead. That's just me. I think Palmer still I think that do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Faster than you, Dutch. Just an old man. Really? My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for <sighs> my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No. You're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Father won't be happy about this. Stay hard and burn, son. I'll pull you We will not kill you out of the rear. Looks like we got a punch there, boys. Is this what you want? Thank you. 
Devils, it's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. these men quickly then we move this is crazy why aren't we getting out of here they might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause we need anything my father can use to strengthen our case i ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Well, they're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! Gotta go. We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah! Let's see if we can lose them down here. This is where you die. Shit. I guess not. <gasps> Get behind something, Arthur.
This is it. This. Well, Orser. Put your hands up. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay. Okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. You always Mr. got a plan, Dutch. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't... what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is he? <coughs> He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go to him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith.
Googling at me again. Googling at what a raggedy squirreler you is. <laughs> you sees when I get a woman like that, don't you? Frazzle dipping all the night. Frazzle dipping your little pullywag, more like. We has that one we keeps in the woods. Pappy was boiling when he sees her, don't you? <laughs> out with this place.
Mr. Morgan! Hello. Here I am, as promised. He's proven himself to us. A loyal man to our people. Captain Monroe. Of course. The chief's gone out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to Wapedia after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, you must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We sure to shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faith, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict. Especially with Eagle Flies now in prison at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here.
Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. Think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no. I, I can't promise. Okay, fella. Sure, I won't hear the end of this. I honestly don't know how I was supposed to do that. It's not like I could have...
Howdy. Hello. Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh... It didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. What? Boy. Boy, I tell you what. Boy. Boy. If I can talk to him, boy. boy, boy. Oh, I hate being a. <laughs> This is the stupidest part of this game. Now they desecrated the sacred I hear peace is impossible. Mm. Hey, mister. Hi. Yeah, I can't do that. Just fucking just go! Oh my god, this is painful. Okay then. Whew, way ahead of me. <laughs> Looks a way off. Must be near.
seem to run out of dead eye so fucking fast in this game.
Okay there. Not a wolf from the Grizzlies, I bet. Well, Chief, you were right. It is huge. So, what do you have for me? Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. been down in Gap Tooth Ridge? Local legend speaks of a white cougar, Giaguro. Well, it's no legend. I saw it once, for a second. No point chasing. He's gone. I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish country folk had any damn money. <laughs> care I'm gonna hunt the damn thing he just told me that down in New Austin there's other legendary animals Are you serious, bud?
Holy shit. Great. Come, boy. Yeah, I know you're super pissed at me. Stay here, boy. Real good, boy. Here you go, boy. Uh, let's get you looking nice. Hey, boy. Hamish, Arthur, come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? <sighs> Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? <coughs> yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you into war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <sighs> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <sighs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go shoot it. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Whoa, pig. Don't worry. Traps go this way. Come on. We're fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. here twice what we do well he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us but I can't tell the tracks is fresher let's split up you go up and I'll go onwards okay good luck to you sir yeah come on view Damn it! 
What? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, you are dumb. Yeah. Hamish. Shit, he's after him. throne and a bastard hog got me. Now, now take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, but he's strong. That's it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> you're good. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Yep.
Okay, boy. Well, I'm glad she shot her. She deserved it. And she was caught on every side of the way. And she betrayed us. You don't know that. She told us. She was in love. She would have said anything. Who knows what she did or didn't do. She had to go. It's sad, but... She didn't deserve it. I do believe you got a cold heart. Me too. Me I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Fevers has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. This way. 
way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. So I can see how actions impact gameplay. How if you choose to do something. It may resonate later in a later story mission. This way. Watch out! <clears throat> Charles, what the hell is your problem? Whoa! Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking oh. peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. 
Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. <coughs> I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. <coughs> no, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Well, removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall... You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Be dumb. You son of a bitch. And I fucking care why.
Let's go. Captain Monroe, you're on me. Hop on, Captain. We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Come on. Follow me. Yep. Ah. That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. You all right, boy? here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. When you take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. Yep, They're I knew it. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. Uh. I knew it. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm out. Uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. You don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know. <coughs> Whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid, and my daddy, well, I watched him die, and it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. 
You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. I fucking knew it. I 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 knew it. Remember Undead Nightmare? That nun that blows away that zombie at the church down in uh, down in Mexico? That's that lady. Turns into a badass later in life. Almost it's like tear jerking. You hear him say the phrase, I'm afraid. That was rough to listen to. How you doing, boy? Fucking trees. We went out. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. I only, I can only keep him in the middle of the road so well. Sometimes he just got a mind of his own. I purposely was pushing left there, and he just did not want to go where I told him to go. Killed a deer by running it over. Yep. I couldn't see it.
please get up. I don't want to. Yes, I killed the bad cougar. Yep. Pretty sure I had a perfect perfect pelt until you decided to throw me. running things over I can't see. for killing his cousin. It's probably also what you get for getting off a horse. Oh cool, I didn't go very far when I died. Can we just keep my weapons out? Jesus. Gentleman caller. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean no, it. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all <coughs> yourself. So how are you holding up? I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Now you got TV. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh. Well, that's very kind. Get yourself. Take her shit. Apparently, I can't sleep.
this. Maybe. Oh well. Here we go.
<sighs> Not gonna happen. Am I glad I found you? I am colder than blue belly hell out here. Could I warm up by your fire just a bit? All right. I guess you can sit a while. Oh, I sure do appreciate this. You, 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 you won't even know I'm here. Oh, God. Got myself rightly turned around out here. Yeah, the two days or or more. <laughs> oh, Jerry Ann guzzled up all the chitterlings, so I go out hunting squirrels. Only Esther still got my damn warm britches. And I got poor circulation, even at the best of times. So, oh, November, my feet. They always turn brown. <laughs> so I glug like some shine to keep myself warm. <laughs> and then I woke up on a river bank, shivering like a shitting dog. <laughs> I get lost real easy. You ever heard of a place called Butcher Creek, mister? Our entire village has been marked. By the demon. No, it hasn't. Stealing our bodies and our <sighs> minds. And we have all been cursed, and ain't nothing we can do but just wait our time. Wait. Why are you looking at me like that? Now, I don't know if I like you, mister. You got the same look my uncle has. I'll take my chances. You stay away from me. <sighs> this is just all going, uh. Ran into two cougars in less than five minutes. Come on now, boy. 
boy. Yep. What the fucking shit? <laughs> I don't need your hat anymore. Dude, fuck, come on, it's a rock. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on with you? Come on, that's not even the edge of the fucking world. I'm about to shoot this horse in the fucking head.
I'm glad I drank that coffee and got my fucking dead eye up. Hey there, mister. Yeah. Please stick to one side of the road. I'm asking you to. At least. Why do you insist on going into the middle of the road? Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's a... Uh, he, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. So glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. <laughs> he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. He <sighs> lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. Then any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles, where are you? Come on, let's go. 
We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. Start making a lot of noise. He'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> <coughs> good. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. Pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall <laughs> is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch, I gotta try. I own that at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <coughs> It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't <laughs> feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them. They didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. Nope. The rainfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah, this isn't gonna be nice. The rain is not gonna help Arthur's team. There it is. Hidden. Wait till it gets dark. Over here. Hmm. Here. 
guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Deal with those two at the gate first. You take one, I'll take the other. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Stick to the wall. moving. Come on. Okay. Come on. There you go. Stay back. Slow. We got two more ahead. One down here, one up in the tower. Let's take one each again. Barkley. There's a guard coming. You deal with this one. All right. Okay, Arthur, come on. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire.
Stop it. Damn it. There's more out front. Go up the tower. See if you can cause the distraction. Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. Uh, if you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Now can I shoot somebody? Do something. Come on. You deal with them. I'll 
Okay, Arthur. Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? Thank you. No mention. Yeah. Tomorrow, we do John's mission. For, uh... Maybe safe.